Meanwhile, the FBI is stepping up its search of another wanted man. Uh, the agency hopes to track down Adam Mays, wanted in the suspected kidnapping of a mother and her three daughters in Tennessee. The victims have ties to the Tucson area and were in the process of moving back here. Tonight, the fugitive, who may have ties to southern Arizona himself, is now listed among the FBI's most wanted. Not on your side's Kevin Keene shows us what it means to be on that list in tonight's Crime Watch. Wanted, 35-year-old Adam Mays, suspected of kidnapping a mother and her three daughters at the end of April. Investigators say Mays may have grown a beard or cut his hair. Two of the victims, including Mother Joanne Bain, were later found dead. Detectives say they were about to move back to Arizona with Mays' help. Records show the Bain family lived in this Pima County home a few years ago. Now an intense manhunt out east, searching for Mays and the two surviving girls he's believed to have abducted. We believe Adam Mays could be anywhere in the United States, and we are extremely concerned for the safety of the girls. That's landed Mays on the FBI 10 most wanted list. What about the nationwide attention could help the case? Well, he is believed to have ties to a number of different states, including Arizona, and it's, his current whereabouts are not known. Mays' face and description is now in the hands of law enforcement agencies nationwide and plastered on billboards like this one. So that information is immediately available, not only nationwide, but also internationally. The days of wanted posters being put in post offices um, are gone. FBI Special Agent Todd Pauley says Mays is also on the list because he could be armed and dangerous and the Bain girls could be in danger. The listing comes with another boost. All of the top 10 fugitives or the most wanted fugitives, the reward is a minimum of up to $100,000. Mays also goes by the names Christopher Wilde and Paco Rodriguez. If you know where he is or have any information on this case, call the FBI or submit a tip online. We posted information on how to do that on our website, kega9.com. All right, Kevin, good information. Thank you.